Hi, I'm Alexia, and today I want to calculate the diameter of the sun with you. Diameter is the distance across a circle through its center. Like in this pizza, the red line is the diameter. We can build a tool that would allow us to take some measurements and calculate the sun's diameter. The tool we are going to use is called a pinhole viewer. I would definitely encourage you guys to create your own pinhole viewer. Here are the supplies you are going to need. Cardboard, scissors, aluminum foil, a push pin or thumbtack or small nail, something that can poke a small hole, tape, and some blank white paper. The first step to creating your viewer is to cut out a square in the center of a piece of cardboard where each side of the square is approximately two centimeters or three quarters of an inch. Then you are going to put a piece of aluminum foil to cover that little square and tape it in place. Keep the aluminum foil as smooth as possible. Now, using the push pin, poke a small hole in the center of the foil, and now you have your pinhole viewer. I can test my pinhole viewer by viewing an image of a candle. I waited until it was dark to try this. Look carefully, we can see an image of the flame projected on the paper behind our viewer. What happens to the size of the image if I move the candle away from the viewer? Watch the image of the flame on the white paper. The size of the image changes as we move the candle. There is a relationship between distance and the size of the image we see through the viewer. We can use that relationship to calculate the diameter of the sun. Here is the equation we are going to use. Remember, the diameter is the distance across the circle through its center. The red line is the diameter of the sun. Back to our equation. It has a fraction of the measurements we need to make. We need to record the diameter of the image of the sun on our paper that we will make with our viewer. And we need to record the distance from the pinhole viewer to the image on our paper. We are going to divide these two measurements in our fraction. Then we will multiply the distance from the Earth to the sun. Once the sun came out, I was ready to try my viewer. A safety message. Never look directly at the sun. It could really hurt your eyes. When I held the pinhole viewer over my paper, it created an image of the sun on my paper as expected. Remember, the two measurements we need to make are that we need to record the diameter of the image of the sun on our paper that we make with our viewer, and we need to record the distance from the pinhole viewer to the image on our paper. If I zoom into the paper, you can see the image of the sun on the paper. I tried a couple of methods of measuring this circle. My first method of measuring was to try and align my image with the ruler. I also had a friend help me by tracing the outline on my paper, which I could then measure after I measured the distance from the trace circle to where I was holding the pinhole viewer. I repeated both techniques of measuring until I had consistent values for the diameter of the sun on the paper, as well as how far away the paper was from my viewer when that measurement was made. My sun image was four millimeters in diameter when my viewer was 16 inches away. Back to our equation again. Now I'm going to plug in the data that I collected. My sun image was four millimeters in diameter when my viewer was 16 inches away. So I can record those two numbers to create my fraction. I also know the approximate distance from the earth to the sun, 149,600,000 kilometers. Now I have all of the numbers for my equation. I will need to divide, then multiply. But first, one more step. I measured in millimeters and inches, but the distance to the sun is in kilometers. The sun is pretty big, so kilometers seem like the best unit to use. I will convert both the diameter in millimeters to kilometers and inches to kilometers, so then I can divide, then multiply to calculate the diameter of the sun in kilometers. Based on our measurements, I calculated the sun's diameter to be 1.5 million kilometers. Considering that the sun's actual diameter is 1.37 million kilometers, 
we are really close. For a simple tool that I built, I think that it's a great estimation on the size of the sun. The pinhole viewer will also allow you to calculate the diameter of the moon. I hope you guys build your own pinhole camera. The next full moon is on July 5th. Have a great summer.